Hey Capricorn, what's up? Welcome to your February reading. I hope you guys are having a great day. Thank you for being here. I appreciate you. And if this reading helps or resonates, let me know by leaving a like, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. If you'd like to book a private reading with me, the information's in the description box down below. And yeah, we're going to see what messages need to come through for you for February 2023. See what spirit wants you to know or be aware of for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. What's going on for Capricorn in February? What do my Capricorns need to know or be aware of? Show me clearly. We have the Six of Cups. So the past is definitely coming up. You're being reminded of the past or you could be reminiscing here. We do have the Seven of Cups reversed. So you're getting clarity on something from your past here, okay? Or you're going to be seeing something differently um, than you may be seeing at this moment. Something's becoming obvious too. We have the Chariot reversed. Could be dealing with a Cancer. Um, all right. Father of Cups reverse. This is about a situation. We have a lot of watery energy out here. So you could be dealing with a lot of like emotions. Um, a lot of emotions that are coming up or are being reminded of a, a situation um, that you were once feeling confused about, but things are starting to make sense. This is about a situation that's come to a pause or it's come to a stop or something's no longer moving forwards here. Something is no longer, there's no progress being made. It's like at a standstill is what it feels. And we have the six of cups and, and seven of cups reversed. So you're getting clarity or you're seeing something different or something about your past is being brought up here. Um, and it's about a situation where there's no progress being made or there's no movement, but it, it's happening. You're like, you put something on pause and you're just, like, you ever like, you're watching a show and you just pause it and you just like look at the, the screen capture and you're just like, you're like, you ever do that? I mean, I don't, but like, you know, if it's buffering, it's frozen. <laughs> if your internet's like shit, it's buffering. And you just like look at the image and you can see all the details and you're like, oh, I never would have noticed that if I didn't pause or, you know, it's kind of like you've put something on pause or something's on pause and you're just kind of like analyzing something or you're looking at the, you're looking at the detail or you're, you're trying to like, you're tracing your steps or, um, it seems like you're, like you're going backwards a little bit. You're backtracking is what I feel. You're backtracking to get some sort of clarity um, before you continue moving forwards or before something progresses. It's like, let's pause. Let's like reevaluate. Let's look at things differently. It's like you are getting some sort of clarity about a past situation here. Something's being revealed to you. You might be getting some sort of information. Um, it could be something that you're picking up intuitively. Something that's being revealed to you, maybe around the full moon, which will be in March early March we'll have the full moon in Virgo the next full moon which I know that's some time away but hey what's going on for Capricorn in February 2023 show me clearly we have the ace of pentacles reversed what's going on for Capricorn yeah, you know, you are dissecting something. Again, just like the tree imagery here, you're dissecting something. Because you know when you cut the tree open, you even like even in this imagery here of the Ace of Pentacles, you can count the rings. You can count how long like something this the tree has been living. So it's like you're literally like cutting something open. Um, <laughs> maybe not like literally, but it's just like you're cutting something open or something from your past or like you're cutting even like you're like cutting open your heart about a situation i don't know man but it seems like you are like getting a closer look or you're looking to the root of a cause of an issue or yeah like even with that six of cups like you're looking at the root cause of something or you're getting to the bottom of something i don't know exactly what this is but eight of swords is at the bottom it's like you're in your head about this you're this situation is transforming you're also transforming about because of this situation. This situ bleh, can't even speak. This situation is helping you grow and change a lot and evolve a lot as a person. Um, even though right now it may feel like you're not changing or you feel like you're not growing or you feel stuck or you feel like you've gone backwards or you're feeling really just like stagnant. I promise you, you're not. You are going through some sort of metamorphosis. And I feel like we said that in a previous reading recently. Um, it's not about change or the butterfly effect or something like that. It's something like that. And that's kind of coming through again. So it might be similar group or might be similar messages. Although I don't remember the reading. Like it doesn't stick with me. But we could be picking up on some sort of... Um, 
similar group here look we go from this four this eight of swords to the four of swords so it seems like something that you're really stressed or concerned about or something that's been occupying your mind or taking up a lot of like mental space and emotional space it won't be like that much longer with the four of swords like this is you feeling at peace feeling and surrendering and seeing and understanding and like ah i get it now i get it now wow Whew. so it seems like something is being resolved or you're going to be getting some sort of clarity okay let's see what's going on for capricorn in february 2023 i'm feeling a lot of pressure like in my third eye so I, this might be through like your intuitive intuitiveness downloads dreams um but yeah oh i feel like so much pressure in my like literally the third eye um and i look at the strength card and look at the infinity symbol on his third eye wow hmm. so there's something about your intuition that's getting clarity about a situation or you are intuitively like connecting the dots or something's just making a lot more sense to you than it did before what's going on for thank you five of pentacles reversed this is regarding something you thought was a loss or you missed out on something or something that failed or you know because when a flower drops their leaves or when a flower is done blooming it's it, you know it's sad and so there could be this energy of like mourning something you lost or missing something you lost or you know don't know what you got till it's gone kind of thing but you know when flowers obviously not all flowers but when flowers are done blooming normally after they have seeds that they drop so it's like this situation although it's over although it's done it's it's there's new opportunities that are coming from it so it's like you're dropping your seeds or you know it's like temporary loss for something better to come in normally when you go through loss that's a huge sign that your manifestations are coming in if you lose something if something leaves your life whether you it's like a physical object that you lose like sometimes i'd be losing my crystals i'm like damn and then it gets replaced with like i find a crystal i lost like a few months ago i'm like oh my god it's like an exchange right it's like a reward and it's like yeah i feel like we said that to you guys or maybe i said it to a different sign but it's like you know you have gone through a lot of hardship you have gone through a lot of struggle it has led you to where you're at today you've gained a lot of strength you've gained a lot of wisdom you know better now and you can learn from those experiences you can't undo the past right every single ring you've earned you've you've earned your stripes you've earned you've earned it right you've earned it even though it may not be what you were hoping for or what you imagined or vision envisioned you know you still earned it you know you earned your stripes that's weird not weird but like that's just what comes through <laughs> it's like okay that's weird how do i get that from this card i don't know dude. that's just what came through so go with it roll with it there's a situation that's requiring you to have patience you're needing to be patient with yourself um but there's like something that you're recovering from it's this past situation that you're recovering from all right let's keep it rolling and then we we, we will uh clarify a little bit What's going on for Capricorn in February? All right, wow. Talk to me. Fool reversed. Mother of Pentacles reversed. And the Five of Cups reversed. Judgment is at the bottom. Look at this. Phoenix energy rising from the struggles, rising from all that pain, guilt, things not going according to plan, resistance of change here with the two of pentacles reversed, ace of wands reversed, definitely there, I see that there was some resistance to change or resistance to letting go or, you know, really holding on tightly to maybe something that wasn't in alignment with you. Anyways, I see that you are getting over a lot of emotional hurdles and blocks yeah, you've been going through a lot of emotional stuff, Capricorn. I think you probably kept it locked away or hidden, or you've really just tried to stro show up as like someone with strong, someone who's strong, someone with a lot of strength. You really just try to keep your composure and not let this get the best of you. But deep down, it's been affecting you, uh, where you haven't been feeling the most grounded, where you haven't been feeling the most solid or confident. There's been a lot of doubt. There's been a lot of hesitation, um, just kind of feeling slow or struggling with getting your feet back on the ground struggling with getting the ball rolling and so with the fool reverse this does represent like being afraid to take chances being afraid to take risks or feeling like even just feeling not ready or um not worthy even that could be coming up like definitely there's a vibe of you feeling unworthy or needing like 
approval or validation or something like that um, and feeling like you don't have that and just not feeling strong or ready enough to like move forwards or move on from something but i do see that near the end of the month five of cups reverse you will get over this um it's just a lot emotionally there's a lot that you're releasing there's a lot that you're trying to detach from there's a lot of lessons that you're learning from this like it's intense y'all but that's why we have judgment out here is like this is kind of like um the final nail in the coffin the final nail in the coffin yeah because there's changes that you've been going through and probably changes you haven't been the most fond of or the most you know you haven't been loving it ace of wands reverse maybe feeling burnt out or feeling exhausted or really like struggling with staying motivated um maybe even just throwing this out there because we have some heavy cards mother of cups reverse like really dealing with even like depression or fighting with mentally fighting and struggling with like even like the bare minimum or like little tasks in the day just feel like such a chore feel almost impossible to achieve it's just like you know there's been like a lot of like i just see that there's been a lot of struggle but you are getting stronger and you are things there it, there is improvement you are improving this life that you're living it's just taking time and you need to be patient and not all things happen overnight especially whatever it is that you're going through it's going to take a while for you to get back on track you are getting back on track but right now you might be feeling a little bit lost you won't for much longer but you know you're just needing to take it day by day and just trust the process as best as you can even though it may be hard to now let's do a little bit of clarifying let's see what this uh seven of cups reverse is um let's see what that's about now i'm just seeing what card deck i'm feeling drawn to for that okay we'll use this one all right seven of cups reverse for capricorn what's this clarity that capricorn is getting or seeing hmm. seven of cups reverse for capricorn what's this clarity eight of pentacles death Card the seven of cups reverse for capricorn ace of wands reversed and strength reverse yeah i really am feeling like there's been this burnout we look at this ace of wands reverse it's like look normally in this in, in the ace of wands reverse in this deck too it is like self-imposed um self-imposed you've been restricting yourself you've been feeling this you've been blocked but it's like an internal block like there's something going on within you emotionally spiritually energetically speaking like you're going through all these changes and it makes sense and so you're feeling burnt out you're feeling exhausted and you might even be just focusing on what didn't work and um you know just not in the right frame of mind struggling like Like struggling with failure or struggling with something not working or just and then there, there's also like fear of failure again or fear of things never looking up or things ever improving anyways that's what's changing we have death and the eight of pentacles don't give up and don't quit i know you want to you want to that's the thing it's like you want to just like give up you're just like what's the point like this sucks Ugh. but spirit is saying don't give up because you are so close to having this breakthrough even though it doesn't feel like it even though you right now it may feel like everything everything that you try to do it just doesn't work or it's just like it's just super frustrating but don't give up don't give up i feel like there's a lot of inner stuff going on within you that's creating a bit of a block or it might be slowing down the process you are slowing down yourself chariot reverse not believing in yourself having doubt within yourself and that's okay right we have moments where you all experience doubt we all experience that shit but i do feel like you're kind of getting in your own way or self-sabotaging or you're just like not allowing yourself to move on um like it's like a story that you could be telling yourself that's keeping you stuck capricorn saying that you're not worthy you're not deserving you're not good enough and that's a bunch of bullshit so stop saying that to yourself if you are saying that to yourself if you're struggling with negative self-talk which i get it it's hard to get out of that it, it's it can be real hard to get out of that pattern that thinking pattern but capricorn enough with that bullshit 
stop telling yourself that start changing your language start changing your words that you use um the thoughts that you have you got to start reprogramming and that's going to take a lot of consistency and also a lot of self-awareness but you are capable and you already are becoming aware of it but yet you're just like oh it's too hard well if it's too hard and you're never going to do it nothing's going to change so it's like you want things to change or not it's kind of it's <laughs> like you know you can complain and complain and complain but complaining is not going to change the situation sorry you probably don't want to hear that but it's the fucking truth so you got to get to the root you got to get to the root of the matter you got to get down to the the nitty-gritty what is blocking you you're needing to have some sort of emotional release here because i feel like you've been keeping it all i think i've said that didn't i say that in like your last reading something about like the bottle and you need to empty your bottle something like that i can't remember the details but i feel like we said something similar like that recently if you've been keeping up with the like weekly readings so you're needing to release 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 please because i feel like you're you are getting in your own way you are blocking yourself yeah and it, it might have, it's not even intentional right it's not like you're intentionally trying to block yourself or make things harder for yourself right who wants that no one wants that but it's like it's unintentional and you're unconsciously manifesting this in a way so it's, you gotta like change your focus and focus on something that's within your control and like i don't know dude but you got you got some work to do <laughs> hopefully this reading is kind of giving a little bit of sense of direction like capricorn you have complete control over your life and at any moment you can change your life for the better for the worse you can just keep it the same um you can always change your life it's never too late you may be like oh no it is too late well some things you know you can't go back from but you just got to keep moving forward so, you know the world keeps spinning with or without you so just i feel like you're making excuses someone's making excuses let's look into this five of cups reverse okay so how can capricorn get out of this funk because you're in the funk you're in this funk and it feels stuck and it feels hard to get out it feels impossible to get out but there's a way there has to be there is a way look at the bottom we have the star if there's a will there's a way don't lose hope don't give up just yet keep going keep pushing you need to find something that motivates you. You need to find something that encourages you. You got to find something that like you can look forward to in the future. You're like, I have nothing to look forward to. What's the point of living? Make something in your future. Plan for something in the future. Something that you that motivates you, that drives you. Why am I doing this? Oh, yeah, because, you know, a month from now or a couple months from now, this is where I want to be or this is what I want to have or this is what I want to achieve. Like set your goal, set some sort of goal. You're like, it's, it's I feel like some of y'all are like really stuck in this funk it's hard really hard to get out of well i see you i see you i hear you i'm sending you love try this five of cups reverse for capricorn you need a um queen of swords okay i feel like if you're lacking lacking purpose if you're lacking drive if you're lacking like status you're because at the end of the day it feels like there's like this lack of feeling satisfied it's because you are meant for more you are destined for more capricorn and the reason why you're feeling all these heavy emotions because you know that deep down you know that you're meant for more you know that you're here for a reason you know like you have a sole purpose here you have some sort of mission but you haven't achieved that yet and that's okay right and you will it's just a matter of time but so you're needing to get into some sort of like I don't know some sort of community or you're needing to like there's something that you can offer the world there's something you can offer the world you may not feel that you may not even believe that right now as i'm saying this but you do have something you can offer this world you have some sort of gift or some sort of talent and you're sleeping on it and this is a time where you need to wake up wake up Capricorn. like <laughs> wake up rise up man all right get your ass up get up get moving go what are you waiting for your life is precious all right i don't know who needs to hear that your life is precious and your life is not over it's just beginning and you have so much to look forward to and so much ahead of you um right now page of pentacles reverse i feel like my life is broken i feel like everything's falling apart no matter what i do no matter what i touch it just fucking doesn't work that's just because that thing that it, it wasn't meant for you it was meant to teach you something um 
Let me just pull some more before I speak on this. Oh, this Five of Cups reverse. Oops, Justice reverse. Yeah, just feeling like... Okay, Empress... Anything else for this Five of Cups reverse for Capricorn? Five of Wands and the Page of Cups. Yeah, there's just this feeling like this sucks, nothing works out, it always is just a waste of time, or it's all for nothing, and again that's like this attitude that you have there's this shift you got to shift your focus queen of swords you need to clear out a bunch of crap and you're needing to get focused on what you really want here okay because right now you're focusing on everything i touch just breaks apart it's like no you got to change your focus everything you touch turns to gold all right so there's a you're out of balance you're out of balance and that's okay and it happens to us all and you know whether it be for a day a couple weeks a couple months a couple years but you won't stay in this forever but that's a, that's a choice though that is a choice you can stay in this this low vibrational well, it is low vibrational you can stay in this frequency and sulk and moan and complain and bitch and never change and never do anything to change it and just focus on what's not working just completely stay in this zone and then that's just this loop that you stay stuck in that's a choice you can also change that right it's about finding a balance like you got to feel your feels you got to get those emotions out you got to acknowledge their thoughts and your feelings but then it's like you got to move on you got to you got to do something about it because you just stick around and mope it, it like let's just say you know you have a bad day so you just you stay in bed all day you don't accomplish anything that's okay right but if you just do that all the freaking time it's gonna be depressing and you're not gonna have any motivation or any drive and it's just gonna be like what the fuck is the point and you lose all focus and you lose all sense of self and that's maybe where you're at right now so you're needing to like I feel like you need to get in tune with nature. You're needing to go back outside, really connect with earth, connect with animals, connect with children. Just, yeah, I feel like that is what's going to help re-inspire you and reconnect you to the things that actually matter. Um, changing your focus, changing your scenery. Um, re I really just think you need, to you need to reconnect with nature. That's like a first step, okay? You need to surround yourself with people that are uplifting and nurturing and supportive and loving. People who have your back, people that support you. Because it kind of seems here, five of ones, you're in an environment where there's a lot of conflict, there's a lot of drama, and that there's just like a lot of tension, and it's just making shit worse, right? Um, especially if you're just always getting treated like garbage or, you know, just getting the bad end of the stick. Dude, Capricorn, this was heavy. I'm sending you a lot of love. I get it. It's hard out here in this world that we live in. But it will pass. But it also so it, it is a choice here. And some of y'all are just so stuck. And you feel like you're powerless. And you feel like you're hopeless. And you just want to quit. But don't quit. There is a way out. It is also a matter of the mind and what you focus on. What you put your power to. But literally at any moment you can change your life. Capricorn. So... Don't forget the power that you have. Don't misuse your power. Turn things around. You can, but it just requires your focus. And it's like you gotta, if you wanna change, you're gonna have to wanna change, right? Deep down, if you don't wanna change, nothing's gonna change. So, like, it really comes down to you and the action that you take. Like, there is no magic formula to this. It's like, it really just comes down to you. So yeah i don't have anything else i want to say i think i'm gonna leave the reading here capricorn i'm sending you my love heavy readings lately for y'all i'm sending you good ass energy take it take it please take it <laughs> uh yeah all right thank you for watching if this is helpful and insightful let me know in the comments below and i'm gonna let you guys go bye